I'm going to teach you to use some crutches because you are non-weight bearing. So the doctor doesn't want you putting any weight on your leg. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Do you have stairs at home? Yes, my oh. room is on the top floor. Okay, so we're going to teach you to use stairs as well. Okay. Any problems with your arms or your good leg? No. Okay, great. All right, so here are your crutches. So we'll see if they fit you. How tall are you? About like five foot. Okay, so um, I'm going to adjust them for you. All right, now I have your crutches adjusted okay. and we're gonna stand up and make sure they fit, okay? okay? So in order to do that, you're gonna put the crutches on the side okay. of not your hurt leg, of your good leg, okay? With both hands. Yeah. You're gonna slide forward, putting your good leg on the ground and keeping this leg up. Using this good arm, I want you to go ahead and stand up and put one crutch under each arm. And let's make sure those fit you. So I want you to stand as tall as you can all right, now to make sure they fit correctly, I'm gonna make sure you have two fingers up under your arm. Make sure you have a slight bend in your elbow. And when you drop your wrist, I wanna make sure the pad is at the level of your wrist. Perfect. How's it feel? Good. All right. All right, Nolan, a few things before we start walking. Okay. You wanna make sure you're standing up as tall as you can and that the crutches are centered underneath your arms. Make sure your clothing is not caught on the crutches. All of your weight is going to go through your hands on the padded hand grips. You're going to squeeze the crutches into your ribs and making sure that you're not leaning on them. Okay. The crutches will stay about shoulder width apart and you'll move the crutches about six inches in front, taking a small hop forward. Crutches forward and hop. Crutches forward and hop. Forward and hop forward and hop. One more time and good. All right, Nolan, so we're going to teach you to go up and down the stairs using crutches, okay? Yeah. To go up, you're going to use your good leg followed by the crutches and your bad leg, okay? The crutches always stay with your bad leg. To go down the stairs, it's the opposite. You're going to go down with your bad leg and crutches followed by your good leg, okay? okay. So let's try going up. I want you to hop with your good leg first and then bring your crutches up. Good leg and crutches and good leg and crutches. Up with your good leg followed by your crutches. Good leg, crutches and good leg, crutches. All right, so remember going down, we're gonna go crutches first. Hopping with your good leg, crutches and hop with your good leg. Great job. All right, so I'm gonna teach you to go up and down stairs using one crutch and a left hand rail, okay? To go up, you're gonna use the rail and the crutch to put your weight through and hop up with your good leg. To go down, you're gonna reach down with that right crutch and you're gonna hop down with your good leg, okay? okay. Up with the good, followed by the crutch. Good. All right, so reach down with that crutch, followed by your good leg. Crutches first, good. Okay, I'm gonna teach you to do stairs when you have two rails, not using your crutches. You're gonna put all the weight through your hands on the rails and you're gonna hop up with your good leg. All right, go ahead and practice. Good. Good job not putting your foot on the ground. All right, to go down, I want you to let that bad leg dangle out in front and go ahead and hop down with your good leg. And one more time. Great job. All right, so I'm gonna teach you to go up and down stairs using no handrails or crutches, but by scooting on your bottom, okay? So putting all the weight through your hand, bend this leg up for me. This is, and pick this leg off the ground and go ahead and scoot up to the next step. Good. And grab the step behind you and scoot up one more time. Great job. Now to come down, it's the same way. Okay. Keeping this leg off the ground 
You're gonna scoot forward. And one more time. Great job. All right, Nolan, we're gonna go back to your chair. So I want you to slowly walk up to your chair. And when you get close, start to turn. And then hop backwards until you can feel the chair behind your good leg. Hold your bag leg up. Switch your crutches into one hand. And with the other hand, slowly reach back and lower yourself down into the chair and scoot all the way back. Good job. All right, Nolan, I'm gonna teach you how to use a walker when you are non-weight bearing or not putting any weight on your injured leg. Okay. The first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna put your good leg flat on the ground. Good. And slide forward to the end of your chair. I want you to put one hand up on the walker while leaving the other hand back on your chair. Okay. Now using your good leg, I want you to slowly come to stand, switching that hand up to the walker. Now, let's make sure it fits you correctly. Main thing here is you want the grips to be about level with the hips, making sure you have a slight bend in your elbow. To walk, I want you to move the walker slightly forward and then take a small hop halfway into the walker, making sure you don't get too close. And hop. Walker. And hop. Walker. And hop. Good. All right, let's go back to the chair. So I want you to slowly turn and hop. Turn and hop. Turn and hop. Now let's walk towards the chair. And go ahead and turn again. And hop. And hop. And slowly hop backwards until you can feel the chair behind your good leg. Taking one hand, I want you to reach back for the chair and slowly lower yourself down. Scoot back. Good job.